working for the Royal, the Royal Brompton Hospital, I'm the artist that they've appointed to do all the art in the new sleep department that they are building, which is uh, to, you know, cure sleep apnea and uh, study narcolepsy and sleep problems and so on. So I've, I've done paintings for the four bedrooms and um, sort of sort of traveling through the night kind of series of 30 drawings that are in the corridor and in the night section of the department and then in the in the reception bit waiting room I've designed a 30 a, a three meter glass screen which is um, which is quite nerve-wracking because you know a drawing that I've done about um, you know a two size got blown up to this sort of shaped glass thing and I was nervous that you know I got it wrong somehow or, yeah anyway yes yeah, so that's what I'm, is that what you were talking about yeah exactly exactly I was yeah I suddenly thought from it maybe you won't uh, yeah you get what I meant yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's exactly completely different um, so that's that must be very very exciting and um, for um, yeah. viewers for the audience tonight um, I had a quick look online and I noticed that Captain Star has been reprinted a few years ago yes there's a well this is <coughs> this is the original one that was sort of done when I was doing the strip in the enemy so this is from sort of 88 I think or 87 and um, somebody in Canada has published a kind of collected Captain Star strips because it also appeared in the Observer for a short while after the enemy dropped the strip um, and if people are, want to track down copies of the animated series is there any if they ask you nicely is there any way they might be able to uh, get all the DVD copies uh, I, I do have some DVDs um, uh, yes, it's, n it's never been available commercially on VHS or DVD or anything. I, I'm not quite sure. Well, I think it was sort of not successful enough to, you know, um, be released. And, and now I think that the right, the rights to, to that aspect are sort of languishing somewhere in a Canadian. Uh, I, I think the company that made part, that part funded it in Canada, was bought by another company, and so the Captain Star. Mm -hmm stuff is sort of, yeah. and the company in the UK that part made it was bought by Granada and you know everything gets kind of swallowed up swallowed eventually, up. yes. So yeah. I was going to kind of sell DVDs online but then I realised I'm not actually allowed to do that, you know, so. But if, if um, mem members of London Animation Club were to whisper in your ear later on tonight you might be able to <coughs> let, let them have a, a DVD for a, for, a, for a, a special price perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we can't publish this because of, of the rights issue. But uh, thank you, thank you very, thank you very much indeed uh, for that. And um, the murals, will they be available online anywhere on your website, perhaps? The, the Royal Brompton Hospital. Yes. Um, I, yeah, I, th I think so. If I get it together to put them on that, yeah. I mean, that, that's a good idea because basically, once the department is up and running at the beginning of March, it'll be quite hard unless you've got a sleep problem to. <laughs> Go and see them, you know. <laughs> Did they give you lots of guidelines of, like, how do you make sure it's not going to affect your sleep? Show the small birds singing, and then yes. Yes. <laughs> go um, off the scale, yeah. Or did they just let you do what you want and you go well, it I, it was a difficult balance because, I mean, I, sorry, there's about sort of three things to say about that because. I mean, basically, they do have to kind of approve them. And in the in the thirty small drawings, uh, there was one drawing in a sort of because sort of uh, quite a lot of them are kind of abstract, like sleep is sort of abstract. And then then there'll be kind of figures appear. And in one of the sort of drawings, I'd done uh, a, a, a lady running, and a man was kind of chasing. And that was Vito because I wasn't really. I was just kind of making drawings and not really thinking but I was thinking you know you get chased in dreams or you run you don't get away or you know but because I'd done a woman chased by a man they felt that was correct correctly I'm sure not not appropriate so so that made me realize I had to be quite careful but we did agree that dreams weren't necessarily just fluffy and nice so and also they want work that you can look at over and over and over not and the trouble with a lot of kind of cartoons strips if they're sort of a, a bit sort of joke orientated once you've kind of got the gag it's sort of done yeah. finished 
so, so whilst there's a cartooniness to the drawing, to the pictures and the screen, they're also kind of um, surreal and jumbled and um, so that hopefully you can look at them a number of times. With the screen you can look from both sides and there's a depth to, to the glass and so on. So, yeah. Um, so they're sort of, when they get close to being cartoons or illustrations, they are cartoons without jokes. They're just sort of surreal and strange, I think. And they've got no words on them. They've got any words? Um, have they got any bubbles? Or? Uh, sometimes, some of them have got empty bubbles. And the whole thing about... <laughs> so you can kind of... So they're sort of sounds, or they're shouting in a dream, but no sounds coming out, or um, or whatever people mm. want them to be. Or One of the main things with sleep problems is breathing. Mm. Um, and sleep apnea is to do with not breathing properly and oxygen levels dropping. So your body, your brain wakes you up and you wake up loads of times in the night to, to get enough oxygen again and so on. So, so I've got sort of speech bubbles that could be, could be breathing. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I've sort of used some of the language of cartoons, mm -hmm. but, but hopefully left it open. Um, and presumably so they gave you lots and lots of information mm -hmm. to do with the yeah. stuff, you know, to do with the conditions. And they did, yes, but... Oh, in the end, a lot of what I've done is to do with sleep being a strange place, mm. a strange land, and and the sort of metaphors about mm. sleep and dreams, because uh, I, I I couldn't just draw um, about breathing issues or no, breathing masks. Or, yeah, the, because they produce leaflets with the textbook mm. stuff, and and they did a, they actually told me they didn't want people to come in and just see text, mm. just see medical stuff, mm. you know. So, and I, so basically I was trying to find a kind of way of doing it that allowed me to sort of be intuitive and, um, and make work that can be looked at for a while, you know, and over and over, but also that's kind of humorous and sort of light, but uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> and are, are they putting your artwork on the wall or are you putting it directly on there? Uh, most, well, most of it is framed or like the glass screen, something that could be moved, because they said that the department will be there for at least 10 years, but there's possible they might move to a new hospital or you know, they want to be able to move it. So some of it will be painted directly on the walls, but not very much. Um, I like the idea of it being on the walls because then it's kind of part of the yeah. building, you know, which I like, but yeah, not much of it. And uh, Linda, what what are you what are you up to at the moment? Are you continuing to produce uh, your ceramic work? Or are um, you well, actually, for the last six months, I've been working on a felt animation with a folk singer from an American folk singer from Wales. And from Wales, or Wales, Wales. <laughs> Wales. She lives in Wales, and we got she got a small grant to um, to make another music video of her song. Um, and she needed somebody to make it, so I offered to help her. Fantastic. And it's been interesting not working in ceramics, working in a different medium. But she made the puppets because she's a felt maker. The singer is a felt maker? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, I'm working with somebody else's puppets, and, and they were even harder than mine because the main character just had one single bit of wire through him, so he's very difficult to. Him walk, oh, I imagined it was they were cutouts, no. and you felt they were two-dimensional. Uh, you mean they're actually freestanding well, felt puppets? Well, a lot of it, but there has been quite a lot of compositing in it, so my After Effects skills have improved. Right. So, um, so I've done a bit of green screen work because there's lots of flying. It's about a sycamore seed, so there's lots of flying shots. Right. I do have a. Sorry. You've got a wee bit with you. Sorry. I've got a, a minute's um, work in progress. If people are interested in seeing it just because felt is really in this year oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh willie has been winning festivals all over the place it's a felt Absolutely. animation yeah. from belgium oh right and i don't know if anybody's yeah. seen it this one point yet. Mm -hmm. so so we're, we just picked the right moment excellent so felt felt is is where it's at yeah um well 
I'll, I'll, let's show the, the Pip uh, film in, in the second half. Um, may I say, though, um, thank you so much uh, to Stephen and Linda. Um, I hope, yeah, I, I think you're happy to be available uh, to, yes, if yes. anyone wants to, to chat and, and to come and see the work. But thank you so much for coming. I thank you for showing okay. so much uh, for being so giving with your time and, and showing uh, all this, this, this wonderful stuff and, and a selection of your films. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Linda McCarthy and Stephen Appleby.